My name is Ted Strunk, and I'm a teacher at Upland Hills School. How you doing, Ted? Welcome to Happy Frog. Thank you, Ron. We're at uh, Bioneers uh, 2011 here at Mary Grove College, and uh, having a great weekend. Uh, you have you taught you teach at Upland Hills School. Yes. And uh, Upland Hills is such an important story, such a legacy of environmental education. Um, I'd like for you to talk about Upland Hills for a second for those who are not familiar, and then talk about what you're doing at Upland Hills School right now. What's new at Upland Hills School? Okay. Well, Upland Hills School, we just celebrated our 40th anniversary. It's a Congratulations. Small, uh, thank you. It's a small independent school. We have about 90 students, K through 8, and we're situated in northern Oakland County amidst beautiful wooded hills. We have about 11 acres, and um, it's uh, really a learning center. We've got a working farm, Upland Hills Farm, we've got the Upland Hills School, and we have a building that we call the Ecological Awareness Center. Um, we have two wind generators on the campus. Um, just last year, we put a 10 kilowatt uh, photovoltaic array on the southern roof of our school, and we are um, going to do an energy audit. My class is going to do an energy audit on the building, and we're going to try to bring our energy usage within the capacity of that 10k uh, PV array. So you have the school, the farm, and then the awareness center, is that the third? Yes, uh -huh. yes. all within uh, walking distance of each other. Mm -hmm. um, my kids, I teach the oldest group, the 7th and 8th graders, uh, we do things, we, everybody builds their own chair when they come into my class. Um, we are constructing a hoop greenhouse. We have uh, rain harvesting um, devices that feed into our greenhouse and it's all a gravity feed irrigation system. We've got a uh, school garden where we grow vegetables for um, our empty bowls, uh, a hunger day awareness uh, event, which was just last week. We raised um, close to $1,700 uh, there. Um, and the kids uh, get outside a lot. We, uh, my kids build what we call debris huts out in the woods. And it's a spot for them to build their own little uh, individual shelter. And they go there at least once a week. We try to get out there. They take their journals out, um, observe nature, uh, uh, draw, write about what they see. Um, as the year progresses from the fall season through winter and into spring, um, the kids are always participating in some kind of real activity to try to enhance our community. Um, there's the energy audit thing that we're involved with, and right now we're studying the, our well water at the school. We're going to learn what kinds of uh, contaminants might be in that well water, what we may have to do to filter it, and so on. And um, I have a question for you. Upland Hills, long tradition of environmental uh, education. Uh, what what can can you give me an example of some projects that you've done uh, where you're interacting with say the folks in Detroit who are working on so many different things could be urban agriculture could be so many different things that are going on there very encouraging now uh, a, a project that comes to mind that you've done uh... well one of the things that we we built uh, was a pedestrian bridge that went from the school to the Ecological Awareness Center. Mm -hmm. We got all of the uh, utility poles that we built the bridge uh, with from the Detroit Lighting Commission. Okay. So there's a, a huge graveyard of utility poles um, over by the city airport. And uh, we went over there and the Lighting Commission said take all you need. And so, I think uh, we took uh, about 35 of those poles. Repurposing of, uh, of materials? Yep. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And that bridge was built almost 20 years ago, and it still stands today. Great. Well, upcoming events, anything of note that you want to tell people about? Um, oh, 
Boy, I can't think of anything specific. I would just like to extend an invitation, though, to anybody who would like to go to our website. What it's is that website? Uplandhills, no space, dot org. Okay. And you can go there and... Um, do you have public tours of the Awareness Center, any of that? We do. If anybody would like to come out and, and uh, see our gardens, our uh, uh, grow beds and our greenhouse, uh, the bridge, the uh, EAC, Ecological Awareness Center, our theater, which we built out of 47% recycled styrofoam coffee cups. Uh, is quite a sight. And, um, and that's so great because styrofoam is really such a problem uh, in, this, in the waste stream. It's very difficult to repurpose it and it just goes to the landfill and probably takes uh, you know, a few centuries to, <laughs> yes. to break down. So Yes, it's actually a wonderful building material and they did oh, it's practically indestructible. Yeah. So and so and you guys have lectures and public workshops and events from time to time. If people want to find out about them, they would go to the website. Yes. All right. Yes. Ted, thank you so much for your time today. It's nice talking with you. Thank you, Ron.